Hi, this is Gerard Jan from the NetBeans team. In this screencast, we're going to look at some of the cool features in the NetBeans debugger. The assumption is that you already know the basics of using the NetBeans debugger, setting breakpoints, stepping through code, but now we're going to look at some more of the interesting and advanced features. First of all, just as a warm up, there's clearly a problem in this code because, as we can see, we've entered three numbers and we're told that the largest value is in fact the smallest value of the three. So let's do some debugging to figure out what's going on here and let's try and fix that code. So first of all we set a breakpoint. Secondly what's going to be interesting is to track what's going on with some of our variables. So here we have a field my array which is going to be filled up with the three numbers that the user provides. So we say that we want to watch that. Secondly there is also this max field, which is going to be filled with the highest of the three numbers over a loop. So let's also watch that one. Okay, we're good to go. We've set a breakpoint in the first statement so we can step through everything. And then we right click and choose debug file, or we just hit the debug project button and the debugger begins. Right now, my array is set to null and max is zero, which makes sense because my array hasn't been created yet. It will be created once we step over this first statement and max is very far away. Um, it's been defined up here, but only later on will it actually be created. We begin by stepping over. As we can see, my array is now created and it's indexed 0, 1, 2, each filled with 0 at this stage. We step in to the getValues method, and we step over so we can go through each of the statements. And at the end of this sequence of statements, we're told to enter a number. So we enter the number 4. Now, we are back in the getValues method. And we're going to speed things up and not step through each statement, so we say step out. Then we're told to enter another number. So we'll make it 6 this time. And the final number we'll make 2. Now, we take a look at my array, and we see 4, 6, and 2, which is completely what one would expect. And we set a breakpoint in find max. And then we continue to that breakpoint. Now we're in the breakpoint, and we can see that max is now set to 4, which is the first of the three numbers. Now what one would expect is for the next number to become the new max, because this number is higher than the current value of max. So we are going to now step over into this section of code and the 4 is still max and the 4 is still max and the 4 is still max and now it is 2. Something's going very wrong here because it should be the higher number not the lower number that becomes max. So we're in this section of code where the problem is occurring so let's take a look at it now. So this statement seems fine, of course, it's a for loop. The next statement, however, there is the problem. We should, instead of a smaller than sign here, have a larger than sign. You can see here also when we hover with the mouse over max, we can see it is now 2. And array 1, we can see here as well, we can have a little pop-up here, 462, and strangely, the max is set to 2. So we should just switch this from smaller than to larger than. A typical mistake you can make when you are coding. So now we save this and we go to the debug menu and we go down this list and we see apply code changes. We apply that. Now we continue and we step out. And we step out again. And again, and we can see that the largest value 
is now 6. So we have changed code live in the debugger, which means you can stay in the debugger. You don't need to leave it. You don't need to restart the debugger. We're now getting the correct result, which we weren't getting initially, because we have used the apply code changes, which you can do once you've made a change on your code and you've saved it. Instead of doing this, however, what you can also do is you can go to Tools and Options, and in the Java section you see the Java debugger, and here you can say Apply Code Changes After Save, which means it will be done automatically, and it also means that you will not need to go all the way up here to Debug and then to Apply Code Changes. Instead, it will be done automatically for you. So you can make changes directly in the editor in the middle of a debug session and those changes will be applied.